My name is Mike Hart. Uh, I'm the CEO of Davis, California-based Sierra Energy, and uh, I'm a member of Cohort 4. So Sierra Energy um, is a company that takes any kind of waste and turns it to clean energy. Um, we do that using an age-old technology, the blast furnace, and we've modernized it by adding these really kind of sophisticated nozzles that co-inject steam and oxygen and are controlled by a computer. By using oxygen, it'll instead of air, we get rid of the 80% of air that's nitrogen. And so instead of pollution coming out of the top of the vessel, which is what traditionally you would get, instead you get a very potent, wonderful uh, fuel, carbon monoxide and hydrogen. And what you're able to do is take garbage, which when you throw it into a landfill, every ton of garbage makes about 6.2 tons of greenhouse gas in the form of methane. Methane's 86 times worse than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas. Um, the impact of what we're hoping to accomplish is you're not going to change the world by policy. You're not going to change the world by positive vibes or anything like that. You're going to change the world by profit. And if you can make a solution that is more profitable than the current polluting alternative, the world could change overnight. And so what we're looking for is taking uh, our process and making it globally available. When we uh, take a look at the 2.2 billion tons of garbage that's being thrown away every year, um, it's, it's a huge number. That works out to being <clears throat> a line of garbage trucks stretching from San Francisco to New York City every single day. That's how much garbage we're throwing away as a world. And so if you can use our process to turn that into clean fuels, uh, clean energy, you have the added benefit of taking over 13 billion tons of greenhouse gas out of the atmosphere every year. That's a profound impact. Sierra Energy right now is a very small company. We have 32 employees, um, all dedicated environmentalists who've been working on this a long time. We've actually been working on this going on 15 years now. Um, doing all the uh, initial uh, theoretical work, working with universities, then working with the Army, building our first systems, operating those for four years, proving that you could take any kind of waste and turn it to this very clean synthesis gas, carbon monoxide and hydrogen, and then getting the, the funding to actually build our first commercial facility, which we finished last year um, in Monterey, California. And so where we are right now as a company is we have requests from, I think it's over 8,000 cities, um, you know, municipalities, uh, companies from around the world that are all looking to do something better with their waste. And so we're now moving into a stage where we're hoping to spend the next year demonstrating our system taking garbage at this, this new facility um, at a place called Fort Hunter Liggett in Monterey, California, but to take waste run it there for a year, um, learn from the operation to influence the design of a 50 metric ton per day system we call the Pathfinder. And that's what we're going to make globally available probably next year. Um, to support that, um, we're doing a Series A financing right now, um, and we're hoping to finish the round um, in the next month. Well, for starters, it, was, it wasn't that hard for me to get excited about the Edmund Hillary uh, Fellowship. Uh, I love New Zealand. Uh, I've spent a couple of months here uh, in the past before I even heard about the program. Um, what, well, I, I love just about everything about New Zealand. I love spending time here. Um, but the nice thing is that it truly is an incubation nation. It's, it's small enough um, and open-minded enough that change could really happen here quickly. When I talk about the big number, 2.2 billion tons per year, that's kind of a staggeringly large number when you really think about it. Uh, when you look at one bag of garbage and then you're thinking, okay, picture 2.2 billion tons of this stuff, it, it's, it's overwhelming. But New Zealand has got progressive policies where they're trying to do something about greenhouse gas. They've got an objective of trying to reach something uh, by 2035, trying to decarbonize. Well, New Zealand right now is creating 26 million tons a year of greenhouse gas from their garbage. In fact, they have one of the largest per capita amounts of garbage in the world. Uh, it's really actually kind of remarkable for such a small island how much garbage it's created here. And so the thought is, what about a net zero New Zealand? 
What about making New Zealand the first nation in the world with 100% recycling? And our objective would to do that would be to do that with our technology um, by making our Sierra Energy fast ox gasification available to New Zealand. There's only 13,000 tons of garbage created a day in the whole country. And so with a relatively small number, a couple of dozen of our facilities located across the country, it would be possible to recycle 100% of the garbage coming out of New Zealand and convert it to either clean fuels, uh, about 420,000 gallons of diesel that's 20 times cleaner than the California fuel standard. Um, so remarkably clean fuels um, or electricity as, as required. Our technology could make either one. Um, but it gives um, New Zealand the opportunity to be the first nation on earth leading the way in demonstrating how it could be done profitably for 100% recycling. The thing that has come through to me the most, uh, most clearly from being here at the EHF Experience, the Welcome Week, um, has been um, really a humbling experience of meeting a lot of really interesting entrepreneurs that all have several common things in, in you know, several things in common. One is um, a love for New Zealand, and I think that's that's kind of cool just just by itself. Um, but a lot of very uh, exciting and ambitious plans that they're trying to bring from all over the world. And so, you know, our our project, the thing that I think we might be able to develop here, um, you know, it's it's it doesn't look so big when you compare it to some of the really neat ideas that people have. Uh, coming out of Welcome Week for EHF. And so it's, it's good company to be in. I've really enjoyed the experience of meeting with these people. At a personal level, um, some of the things that I've learned here, I think the most uh, profound and impactful to me is learning more about the Maori culture and learning more about the history, which is very different than what I had learned in my months in New Zealand prior. Um, obviously, I was just a tourist and I really didn't understand uh, even the, the, the history I'd read really just sort of was very um, sanitized and fairly simple. Um, I think I understand it a bit more clearly now, just, just a tiny bit more clearly. And I see there's, there's a lot that can be done here to try to right some historical wrongs. Um, I'm not a, a, a card-carrying liberal, and I'm not um, somebody who gets very involved in a lot of political causes. But the things that touched me the strongest in listening to this is simply as a businessman. You make agreements and you stick to them. And some of the things that I heard really just violated that basic principle of good business. So it bothered me. Uh, so if there's anything I can do to contribute to try to make things better, um, I certainly would like to, I'd like to participate. Some of the things that have come out of this experience that I find very exciting and the things that I'd like to move forward with, um, you know, I have a very small company a very long way away. And so I'm just here as a representative of my company. And uh, acting alone, there's really nothing I can do here. But working with others to find, first of all, do I understand the situation correctly? Is our technology truly the right solution? Um, and are we working, you know, who are the right people to work with to try and see if this is a good solution for New Zealand? Hopefully, in the next few days, I'll meet people that can tell me some of those answers. Because, you know, just because I think it's a great idea, people who live here might tell me it's, they've got a better idea. And so that's, that's perfectly okay. I'm just here to learn. And uh, this is simply a suggestion on our part as something that appeals to me, I mean, just, just from an excitement standpoint, to have the most beautiful country in the world become the cleanest country in the world. Because right now, I mean, the garbage is piling up all over New Zealand. Since China stopped taking the recycling they used to burn there, uh, it's piling up all over New Zealand. Why not take that and instead of having a massive eyesore and greenhouse gas and everything else, why not take that waste and turn it to clean fuels to reduce dependence on foreign sources? The little I know at this point about what I need, um, and again, I say very little about what I need because I, I simply don't know whether or not we have the right answer or not. But I think the Edmund Hillary Fellowship could provide tremendous support because in the end it's all about people. It's the, 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 the people in the fellowship may provide the right contacts. They might be able to help provide the right resources in developing a solution like the one 
that I'm proposing, sort of a net zero New Zealand. Um, so I if that in fact worked out um, as a good solution for New Zealand, then the Edmund Hillary, Hillary Fellowship could be exactly the right solution um, as far as providing those connections um, throughout New Zealand to make something like this possible.